You are listening to Critty's Corner. My name is Christian Capello, a senior student athlete and part of the men's soccer team here at Cuca College. Today's podcast is a Wolf Madness special. I'll be doing the usual news of the week, NIAC athletes of the week, and have my own prediction where I am 2-0 and so far. Uh, we will also have information about Wolf Madness and our first guest on Critty's Corner, Holly Reynolds, who is the organizer for Wolf Madness. Two big things. First, the Cuca College men's soccer team won both games this weekend, clinching a spot in the NIAC playoffs. Saturday, they defeated Penn College by a score of 2-0. to zero. Goals were scored by leading goal scorer Samba Duhanzi and junior midfielder Abdi Malo. Cuca opened up a 2-0 lead in the first half. Much of the same in the second half, but there was a weather delay because of lightning. Even though there was a weather delay, Cuca controlled much of that second half keeping Penn off the board and winning the game 2-0. Sunday, Cuca defeated Penn State Burks 6-1. Cuca avenged their first ever loss to Burks last, from last year, making them 16-1-1 all-time against Burks. Abdimalo again led the way for the Wolves, having two goals and two assists. Also scoring for the Wolves were Chris Millard, Jared Burns, Samba Duhanzi, and Dom Shirello, who scored his first career goal. This gives the men's side their 10th win of the season, which is just the 12th time in school history in 28 seasons of the men's soccer program. Their playoff fate will rely on how they do next Saturday against Kaz. They have clinched their spot, but positioning-wise, depending how they do against Casanova College and other scores around the NIAC, will depend what seed they have. Secondly, the Cuca women's volleyball team also won two matches this past weekend, which also clinched them a spot in the NIAC playoffs. The Wolves opened the day by dominating Penn College. They won sets 25-12, 25-10, and 25-15, winning the match 3-0. Lauren Mulbert led the way with 13 kills. The women's volleyball team has never lost to Penn College with a 5-0 and record. The next match, they won 3-0 against Penn State Burks. They won the sets 25-22, 25-16, and 25-20. In this match, Caleb Brown led the way with three aces and also had 13 digs. Cuca is now 7-3 in the NIAC and have one more game in the NIAC, which is Wednesday, October 24th, against SUNY Poly at home. That will also determine which seed they will finish. So quickly, just to give you some of the NIAC student athletes of the week for men's soccer Abdi Malo was named NIAC offensive student athlete of the week Jessica Pegg for women's soccer was defensive NIAC student athlete of the week Cassidy Valentine Alyssa Orsino swept the NIAC field hockey awards for the week So, so far, I am two for two in my predictions after the women's volleyball team won both their matches this past weekend. And I have a really good feeling that I'm going to be three for three after this week. I believe that Cuca College field hockey team will win the NIAC championship game, which is going to be held at Cuca College this Saturday against the Wells Express. Cuca College played them early of the year, dominating the game and outscoring Wells by a final score of 7-0. to zero. I believe a lot would have to go wrong for the Wolves to lose this one. This would give the Cuca College field hockey team two straight NIAC titles. Now on the podcast, we have senior Holly Reynolds. She is in the Sports Management 401 class who will be running Wolf Madness, the annual pep rally here at Cuca College. They've been preparing all year for this event. It's the biggest event that goes on at Cuca College. Holly is the organizer and will give us some background information about Wolf Madness. Holly, thanks for coming on the podcast, Critty's Corner. Give us a little background on what Wolf Madness is. So it's run by the Senior Sports 401 class every year. This is the 13th annual year that this event has been put on. Um, It announces all of our winter sports teams, which include women's basketball, men's basketball, and men's volleyball. And then we also will have performances from dance, cheer, and the step teams. Awesome. So what are some of the most important things that go into running Wolf Madness? Communication within our class is one of the biggest things, just being able to talk to each other and then talk to the people that we're working with. 
Um, so we have to be able to work well in the team. So your teamwork skill is very important. And then there's also a lot of attention to detail because there's a lot of moving parts within this project. And it's very important that you pay close attention to those. What challenges have you faced throughout this whole process of trying to run Wolf Madness? I would say balancing this class and my other classes along with the extracurriculars that I have going on because I am still a full-time student while trying to run this event. And then none of us also have that much experience in this. So just learning how to um, understand how this project works and then also intertwining the community with the college in a positive way and keeping good connections throughout everyone. Awesome. And last question, why should people come to Wolf Madness? You'll be able to meet the winter sports teams that you'll be supporting this winter. You'll be able to support Honor Flight in Yates County, which is a donation that we'll be going to. And then you'll also get free stuff, door prizes, and giveaways throughout the event. You heard it here first from the organizer of Wolf Madness, Holly Reynolds. Make sure you show up November 1st at 8.30, win some prizes, play some mini games, have some fun. Thanks for listening to Critty's Corner and listen in next week as playoff seeds will be revealed, they'll be finalized, and also all NEAC teams will be selected. I'll let you know who made those teams. We'll also see if my prediction is correct, which I do believe I will be three for three, and see if that field hockey team hoists the trophy for back-to-back years. Thanks.